temp performance. A tuned Nissan GTR or a tuned Porsche 911 Turbo S992 generation. Well, we're going to find out because I'm going to drag race them over the standing quarter mile because I'm Matt Watson and you're watching Car Wow. Buy, sell, car, wow. Now let me tell you about this Audi R8 V10 performance. You see, normally the car has a 5.2 litre natural aspirated V10, which puts out around 620 horsepower and 580 newton meters of torque. But with bits, tuning company has decided to do a little bit of work to it. They've fitted a twin turbo kit and a standalone ECU. The result is 950 horsepower and 800 newton meters of torque. Oh yeah. You've still got quattro wheel drive, you've still got seven speeds in the dual clutch automatic gearbox, and you've still got launch control. And this car weighs in at a similar 1,595 kilos as the standard car. Bit more expensive because of the turbo kit. It's an extra 50,000 pounds on top of the price of this car. Let's find out about the GTR. Hello, Yanni. How are you? Young Matthew. I am good, mate. And this three nice toys here. First of all, can I appreciate the wrap on the far right? Like, it's not, I didn't do it, but it's actually a nice wrap. So, Nissan GTR 3.8 V6 twin turbo, six speed dual clutch, four wheel drive. They've told me on race fuel, this is 1200 horsepower, but I'm not running race fuel, so I'm only a thousand horsepower, which I'm still pleased with that. 1100 Newton meters, weighs around 1860, and it's JM Imports vehicle. Thank you very much for letting me drive it. What's the price of it? So they told me the conversion's around 50K, so this car's what, 125? All right, so what have they done exactly? Have they like upgraded the turbos, ECU, or is, is there some more stuff done in the engine? I, I imagine not. Haven't got a Scooby-Doo. Haven't got that much information yet. All I know is it looks fast, it sounds fast, and we're gonna see if it's fast. And obviously, officially gassed over there, Jamie talks a good game. I know he's in the excuses business. <laughs> leave it out, leave me alone. So let's go to you then, Jamie, because on paper, your car has the least power. So tell us about your car. So it's a 3.8 litre, flat six, twin turbo, PDK gearbox, four wheel drive, 888 horsepowers. And I think the GTR is more than he's letting on. Really? Okay. How much torque have you got? I've got 1,000 Newton meters of torque. Fair amount of torque there. So I'm down on torque, but I'm up on power compared to you. What's the weight of your car? So mine weighs in at 1,640 kg. But the best bit, how much is the price of the tune? The upgrades. Okay, so this is uh, running the ES Motor 750 package, and that comes in at 16,500 pounds. So it's the cheapest tune, though your car is more expensive to begin with though, isn't it? How much do you pay for your car? So I think I bought it when cars were a little bit more expensive over the whole crazy period, and I paid near on 190 for mine. What I'm gonna do now is flash up a comparison chart of all the stats for the cars as we're running them now, so you can compare all the details at your leisure by pausing the video. So if you wanna do that, pause the video. I just want to say a huge thanks to JM Imports, to ES Motor, and of course to Withbits for sorting us out these cars. And we're going to see which one performs the best. But before we do, if you're thinking about selling your car, you can do it through CarWow, right? All you have to do is upload some photos of your car, give a brief description, then dealers all across the country will bid on it. Just pick the one that gives you the highest offer. They'll come to your house, take the car away, and put the money into your account easy. Now, if you want to do that right away, just click on the pop-out banner up there for the link in the description below. Alternatively, you can just Google help me car wow and we will help you sell your car. Now, let's do the customary car wow sound check to see which of these cars sounds the best. So I'm going to start off with this R8. <laughs> That's good, that's good. And finally then, Jamie, let's hear your Porsche. Oh, you're all about the pops and the bangs. But on the revs, I think, I, I think this wins. No, he's got the pops and the bangs, my revs win. I'm revving to almost 9,000 RPM. Where are you getting up to? Only about six or seven. I'm all the way around, mate, I'm at eight. Ooh, yeah, maybe you did win that. Do it again. I think you might have just lost a, a piston ring at the back of your car. 
<laughs> Either that or you're running on diesel. <laughs> Oopsie daisy, sorry about that. <laughs> okay, let's get on with the race and hopefully your car will still work after that. Jamie, you have some doubts as to whether that GTR is really running only 1,000 horsepower. Is that correct? Yeah, well, I'm not going to lie. I've seen that exact car making 1,100 at the wheel. I feel like I smell some exotic fuel right now, but I, I might. it might be something else. Exotic fuel and well, we're going to find out now because if we get absolutely hammered, we'll know that something's amiss. slow off the line Yanni but then you just absolutely motored past me but the question is did he beat Jamie we always knew he was going to get a better launch he's in a Porsche but once this gets going see ya see ya <laughs> Hello, I do smell race fuel do you Jamie mate that's all I could smell <laughs> it definitely feels like I'm in the paddock uh, let's go again because I don't think this did what it was supposed to do it felt really strong then it like tailed off halfway through right so this is what the guy's saying about the fuel tell me so it's fresh off the dyno so there may be a small amount of left in because these lot are saying they can smell it and they're saying it's yeah. race fuel well, I smelt it earlier on but I didn't prep the car so I'm so what are we saying is it race fuel or not it smells like it okay so there you go yeah, see Jamie? You trusted your car and you're right. I live around this stuff, I live and breathe it and I know ethanol when I smell ethanol. We don't know how much horsepower that's putting out then if it's a mixture of E85 and just normal pump fuel. Well they're saying it's 1200 with full race fuel, 1000 uh, without so we can call it 1100. Let's go. Yanni, Ugh, gotta beat you. I'm ready. Right, come on, all right. I think I've got less horsepower than I said I had. Yanni's got more than he said he had. Uh, Jamie? You've got Porsche horsepower, which has been tuned by ES and yeah. It's doing the job, isn't it? Did you win? I don't know. It was so close on that one, but I definitely, definitely put up a fight. If not, I might have edged it there. So, did you win the first race or did Yanni? Yanni won the first race, unfortunately. Do you want to call it one each, Yanni, and go for a decider? I'm just a spectator, just breathing in ethanol fumes back here. I'm happy to go again just to race this again. Your launch was insane, by the way. I'll give you that incredible launch. And Matt, um, just thank, thanks for being here, mate. It's me and Jamie's show today, isn't it? I know, I kind of have to be here because it's car wire, but to be fair, I could just, you know, not take part, really. It's a great launch. Oh, it feels better. I nailed that launch, it was still quicker. Come on, oh my God, he's coming. So Yanni, tell me what happened. I got off the line pretty well. I think Jamie might even have been a little bit ahead of me. You were behind off the line, but did you come back and beat him? I thought I'd done a really good launch, yet you two both killed me off the line. However, this car's fast. And I just went, Harsh, Jamie. Bye-bye. See you later. Oh, See you later. man. So, I win. I think we just need to check something. Can you just open the fuel filler cap? Uh, where is the fuel filler cap on this? 
Uh, where's the button? Is there a button? No. I can smell it from here. Oh, I can smell it from I here. I can smell it from here. Don't breathe that in, you'll, you'll drop it. dead. Smell it. <laughs> oh my. That's at least 13, 1400 brake horsepower <laughs> smelling in there. <laughs> that is race fuel, isn't it? It's spicy. It's spicy. <laughs> I ain't like I'm dying in here, mate. Honestly, it <laughs> smells it, so huh? bad in here. It's probably terrible in here. I'm going to have the windows open. It's bad. When I got in the car and they were doing the cameras up, I was like, it smells really bad in here, doesn't it? <laughs> now we know why. Okay. There you go. Right. Cheeky, cheeky. Hey, it's all right to win when you're cheating, isn't it? Like, you know oh, I mean? yeah. no, I'm the real winner in this <laughs> Now we have a rolling race from 50 miles an hour. The cars are in their comfort setting, automatic mode of the gearbox. Race to the half mile. I'm going to call it in now. Three, two, one, go. I don't know what that GTR is doing. The Audi's there. That wasn't so good, Yanni. Dropped a gear, didn't go anywhere. It dropped another gear, didn't go anywhere. And then eventually it started to pull like nothing, like zero. This gave me zero. <laughs> really funny because this car that didn't perform in the drag race now i'm driving it normally not launching it it was actually giving really good power though not enough power to beat jamie jamie you you just went so far up the runway because you absolutely battered us all yeah just the turbo s doing turbo s things i guess just taking the win doing it without cheating i guess okay right let's take the gear box kick down shenanigans out of the equation let's do it in gear well, I'm going to be honest with you on this, yeah? He's told me I can hit my cancel button, it will give me boost, and then allow me to launch midway through. Well, you can do whatever you want to do. Sounds like more cheating to me. It doesn't matter. You're in race fuel. Do whatever. Now we have a rolling race. Once again, from 50 miles an hour. The gear, manual mode, sportier settings. Race to the half mile. Let's do it. I'm going to call it in. Three, two, one, go. Let's go! Oh, red light, no! Now this is going. Ah! Am I going to beat the G? I'm going to beat everyone? Oh my God, Yanni, it looks like your bonnet's going to fly open. But I, I totally won that. Mate, I bounced it off red line so hard in third, I think it was. That's the only reason you took that one. Uh, Yanni, what happened to you? Uh, I dropped the um, walkie-talkie and I couldn't hear you. Oh, what? I thought I'd won then. And now you're saying, no, I bounced off the limiter. Oh, I, I couldn't hear anything. And oh, oh, let's run it again. So disappointed. Jamie, do you promise to change up? when you're supposed to change up. I'm gonna try my best, I'm gonna try my best. Yanni, do you promise to hold on to your radio so you can hear me say go? <laughs> I'm gonna try my best. <laughs> okay, get level. Three, two, one, go. It's forever. This is going now. Oh God, here comes the GTR. You're gonna catch me before the half mile. Well, Jamie, your car is putting in a really good show. This is inconsistent with whether it's delivering maximum boost or not. Yeah, man, I got it right that time. I hit my shifts. Yanni, you only just, only just beat me. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I can't work it out. I don't know if it's the cancel button. I don't know if it's third gear. Something's not right. I don't, I don't know what it is. I can't work it out. So for all the talk about your secret method of cancel button and whatever it does, boost builds or whatever, that just didn't work. It's like some kind of anti-lag that was more anti than anti-lag. I'm not going to lie. I would like to run it without me using the cancel button and see what it does. All right. 